Bounty hunting is a great way to make money in Star Citizen. While it may not be as fast as continue mining, it has one huge advantage. Today's video is brought to you by Game Glass. Game Glass allows you to take control of your ship from a tablet or phone. All the key bindings are neatly divided into well-designed shards, meaning you always have easy access to the exact features you need, regardless of what you're doing. On top of that, Game Glass also works with Elite Dangerous, so extend your cockpit and get the full immersive experience. Follow the link in the video description and try Game Glass for free. If you like it and want more shards and features, you can either buy them individually or subscribe to Glass Pass. Use offer code DTEA and get 5% off your first purchase. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Star Citizen with Down to Earth Astronomy. So today we're going to talk about bounty hunting, we're going to talk about how you can make money through bounty hunting and how you can actually make some very decent money and I'm going to try to tailor this so it works for pretty much any skill level. I'm, I'm still starting out with it myself but I have a pretty good grasp of right now and especially the how to get started part of it i feel like i have that covered really well so if you're looking to get into uh, bounty hunting then stay tuned now the first thing you do is you head over to your contracts panel here and right now you can see there's not like a whole lot of missions first because we are in quantum between two planets but there is one mission that you want to pick up that's the first thing you do the first thing you log in and you're going to do combat is you pick up call to arms you can see call to arms just has a bonus and the way this works is whenever you kill an npc or player for that matter, depending on the crime stats, so how wounded they are, you will get either from 500 up to 1000 alpha UEC per kill. And this works with the on top of the mission bonuses you will get for the missions we're gonna pick up here in a second. So there's really no reason not to have this mission, it never expires, it's always there. So just pick this up, go down here, click accept offer, and just have that active. It's just extra passive money, there's no reason not to have it. So the next thing you want to do is you want to make your way to the Hurston area over here, the innermost planet in Stanton, and take whatever combat ship you have and head over here. You can see in the background we just arrived, so we're going to hop back here to our um, contract manager, and we can now see a number of missions has popped up. And as I already read some pretty good ones here that I, I like to take. First of all, if you're starting out, then these ECN alerts are really good in early like if you're just starting because they're relatively easy the targets come at you one or maybe two at a time so you're never going to be fighting a lot of enemies at once and the payouts can see 10,000 alpha uc is pretty good so while this is not the most profitable type of mission i just want to show you how they work regardless then you go and you look for that uh, rendezvous point that there should be uh, set up it's actually a distress beacon in this case you can see mine is out here i'm gonna set my route and uh, let's fly there there we go, we get close enough to the stress beacon, and here we have the, sig the ship that sent out the uh, the signal. We're just going to wait for uh, for the NPCs to spawn, we got the first red marker here, so we should already have our first target. There he is. There we go, that's the first target down, that was 1500 Alpha UC, and now the next target spawn. As you can see, they spawn one at a time, and you kind of get the gist of these type of missions now, I guess. Now there are two other targets in here, but that's probably someone else running a mission here. These are not for my mission. You can see my mission now completed. So in total, I ended up with five and a half thousand in bounties for um, for just killing the targets and 10,000 for completing the mission. And this took me about five minutes to complete this mission. So 15,000 alpha UC for five minutes of work. That's not too bad. However, these missions are not always like that common and they're not the highest paying either. Now for that, we're gonna head in here to the bounty hunting section. And here you will see a lot of missions. And you will see these like letter combinations afterwards. These indicate the difficulty level of the mission. At the beginning when you start, you won't see a lot of missions in here. What you'll see will probably be a mission that looks like this, a licensed tracker certification. This is kind of your level up mission that gives you access to more and more difficult targets. At the beginning after you completed your first one, you will get access to these VLTR or very low risk targets. And then you have LRT, low risk targets. We have MRT, medium risk target. And you can probably guess what HRT are, high risk target. And then finally, you also have VHRT, which is very high risk target. And bounties increase. So you can see here, if I take a very low risk target, I get 4,000 for killing a single ship, plus the bounty for, uh, for that. It's probably going to give me like 5,000 alpha UC just to kill that one target. If I take a high risk target, 
you can see here, I get 11,000 credits, and you can actually get them all the way up to, I think, around 20,000 credits when you get very high um, threat targets or risk targets. So 20,000 per kill, that's pretty good. Now, you will also see these uh, Bounty Assignment Groups missions. Now, these pay, as you can see, a lot more, even though this is only a medium risk. But this is because there are three targets spawning, and you only get the payout once all three have been killed. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a high risk, I think, and... Uh, just go and complete that. We locate the rendezvous. Here's a little trick I found useful. Oh, here we go. Sometimes if the target doesn't spawn, what you can do is you can go in and you can retarget after you arrive, retarget the um, the rendezvous, and that will show you where the rendezvous beacon is. You can, can fly to that instead, and it just makes it a little bit easier. But in my case, my uh, target has just spawned, so I'm gonna make my way closer and let's uh, get this guy down. And there we go, that took just a couple of minutes. And there we have the reward, 12,000 Alpha UC for just a single target. So you can see, very, very profitable. And now I can just, again, open up. And sometimes targets will spawn, as you can see here, there are additional targets spawning in. What I like to do in that situation is just point away from them, give my engines everything they can possibly hold, and then click the V key. The V key locks in your speed so that the ship doesn't slow down automatically. And while you're then flying away from them at high speed, you can go in and you can uh, can pick up your next mission. And from here on, it's pretty much just like rinse and repeat. You pick up the highest threat targets that you're comfortable killing and just go and kill target after target after target. Now, there is one more type of mission I want to show you. And these are these halt illegal surveillance. The basic idea is that some pirates have gone and hijacked some surveillance satellites and the original owners of the satellite is like if we can't have them nobody's gonna have them and they're sending you out to uh, to deal with them as you can see here with the mission i just picked up here first of all they are a bunch there's a lot of them and they pay twenty thousand credits and they're also relatively easy since these satellites don't shoot back there are ships spawning in that may shoot back at you but if you take down a satellite as quick and just warp out, then you shouldn't be a uh, big deal. Now, once we arrive in the area with this type of mission, we actually have to find the satellites ourselves. This can be a little difficult. So what you want to do is you want to hit tab, and then you want to hold down your right mouse button to uh, to scan the area. And you will see like cubes show up in space. And at those cubes, and hit tab again to go out of, uh, of scanner mode and back into combat mode. And if you fly up in the direction of those cubes, you should see the satellites pop up. There's our first target, and as you can see, this is just a small satellite, so there's not really any, not really anything firing back at me right now, so I can just sit here comfortably and shoot our first satellite. And there's a little bit of fireworks even. How nice. Open our scanner, and let's find the next one. And now we actually have our first actual ship show up uh, in this mission here. But at this point, we're pretty much done, so I'm just gonna go for the last satellite here. Shoot it and leave. There we go. That's the last satellite. Spool our quantum. Let's get out of here. I said in the beginning that this type of money making has a huge benefit over something like mining. Now, depending on whether you do rock mining or you do mining in a prospector, you are going to be having a game loop that is significantly longer than this. You can see here the game loops are rarely more than 10 minutes before you reset, you go, you pick up a new mission and you had your payout. So where mining gives you one big payout after a long play session, this gives you a lot of small payouts all the time. And as we know, even though server stability has improved a lot, I think, some days the servers are just not playing ball and I find it super frustrating if you've been spending an hour on a planet mining around or whatever you've been doing, and then just to have the server 30k on you and you lose everything. Where with this, if the server's 30k, well, Worst case is you lost five minutes of uh, of gameplay, and that's that's about it. Plus a little bit of travel time to get back where you were. But you get my point. You're not gonna lose like hours of progress if you have a really long mining trip. I hope you found this combat guide useful. If you did, I would really be happy if you would consider subscribing and giving the video a like. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, I will see you guys in space. <laughs>